You mentioned coming from high school and having to learn a lot. Were there elements from Danny's offense that are similar to Coach Reese's? Yeah, um, I think a lot of the tempo stuff we're doing now, um, a lot of the zone read scheme, uh, he had a lot of, and uh, I mean, it's football at the end of the day, so um, a lot of the same, same concepts and general things were pretty similar, but obviously this is at a much higher level. And then last fall, obviously you didn't get to play because uh, of COVID, but you mentioned that your mom would test you with flashcards and different types of tests. I guess, how did that kind of pay off in hindsight? Yeah, it definitely helped. Um, you know, like with the, with the playbook and things, my mom obviously was, um, wanted me to do well and I obviously wanted to do well. So I'd have her test me on uh, the plays and things like that. And so um, it definitely helped a lot. And uh, I certainly um, like learned a lot more when I got here and uh, I'm still learning every day. Then you and Lorenzo go way back to when you guys camped here and got offered. I guess what's it like uh, growing with him in the offense, but also I guess living with him too. Yeah, I mean it's great because um, you know we we do the same thing every day, so it's great having a roommate on the same schedule. Um, you know, Zoe works really really hard. Zoe is Lorenzo. Um, he works really really hard, and uh, he's got a great work ethic. He works hard in school, works hard in football, and um, it's great because he's always up early in the mornings, goes to bed early, so. You know, he keeps me in line when, you know, if I want to stay up late, he's, he's in bed and I'm like, all right, shoot, I'm going to go to bed. Yeah, and so then lastly great. for me, your sister's committed here for soccer. I guess, what does that mean to you? Just how proud of you or her are you? Yeah, I'm really proud of her. Her name's Paige. Um, she's awesome. She's one of the best little sisters I could have. And uh, she works really, really hard. And I'm really proud to uh, where she's gotten today. And just the fact she's coming there today is awesome. What have you learned from Jack from camp to now? Yeah, I, definitely a lot. Um, I mean, coming from high school, I don't want to say I knew nothing, but I knew some. But I mean, in the, in, to what I know now, I mean, it's drastic change, and Jack's had a very big uh, impact on that. I mean, I think from the mental side of things, he's great, and I think especially the emotional side of things, he's very um, well leveled, great balance. His, he always keeps his uh, emotions stable. That's something. I would like to have at some point in my career, and uh, from that level, I think he's taught me the most. All right, we'll go to Zoom. Len Clark, you're up first. Go ahead, Len. Tyler, can you give us some insight into how you're staying mentally and physically ready to go into a game at any given time? Yeah, I mean, it's the same thing. You just got to keep preparing. Um, it's the big thing, like being a backup and at all stages of football, you just got to prepare like you are the starter because you never know when your number's going to get called. And, um, you know, I, tr I try to prepare as much as I can, and uh, I trust in the coaches, and uh, whenever they decide to, you know, toss me in for a play or two here and there, um, I try to be as ready as possible. 